Alright boys, welcome back to another video, this is episode 14 of the Sweden Let's Play. Today we will be invading the USSR, as I uh, said that we will. We were prepared enough and uh, with the help of Germany we will be able to uh, easily crush them. So we'll start in uh, just a second, let's wait for the new day to actually uh, start day 16 because armies, uh, army sizes will be shown, so that's gonna be nice to see I suppose. We built a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of units, a lot of industry, a nice amount at least. And yeah, it's boosted our economy a little bit. Finally, 5,000 money per hour. I will keep building this up. So let's do just that. Let's also build in all of these areas. So we can have uh, as big an economy as we can get, I suppose. There we go. Just building it up. And there we go. That's gonna be level 2. We're good here. Let's go to production. So in these two areas, of course, motorized infantry. And then these two, of course, SPR artillery. So let's do just that. And in these two, of course, heavy tank. Level 3 finally. And here let's do interceptors, of course. So there we go. I got a couple of interceptors. I got two more here that I made not long ago. So you can just put them here to help us against their air force. We have like five planes now. Oh, six with this one. So that's pretty decent. Anyway, uh, well, let's go to research. We can research level 5 motorized, which I will actually do. And, uh, anything else? Well, there's heavy tank. We can do navy, I suppose. Yeah, we could. Let's get submarines, I guess. Uh, let's just do that. No big deal. Let's also make uh, a destroyer here in Oslo. There we go. And let's put this battleship over to here. There we go. Anyway, two minutes and we're gonna invade. So plan is gonna be, with this we push here and uh, with this too, we just push down Karelia easily. That shouldn't be hard at all. Then we're just gonna push in hard into this entire area, which we will be able to do for sure. I've been able to agree with Germany on the borders. It's gonna be like this. We're gonna go through here, over here, and then all the way over here and just like this including Karelia so that's gonna be at least a couple of cities Murmansk, Arkhangelsk, Vologda, uh, Minsk, Vilno and Leningrad it's gonna be enough for me it's gonna be a decent amount in general we're also gonna get uh, this supply drop in Murmansk finally but we should be able to easily destroy them I can also upgrade like all of these units but that would first of all cost a fuck ton and second of all uh, we don't have the time we're invading in um, like a minute so we're not gonna do that the Soviets have giant numbers, believe it or not, but, well, believe it or not, <laughs> of course you'd believe it, but, uh, yeah, they, uh, they have very low levels, so they're not that strong. Talking about this, Mongolia is kind of winning, to be honest, here in, against India, and it seems like Japan is at war with China too now. No, they're at war with India, actually. Interesting. Interesting indeed, <laughs> Afghanistan is fucking thick. Man, look at that. That doesn't happen very often. Looks pretty damn good. Anyway... Uh, 31 seconds, just a little bit, and yeah. After we invade the US Sar, we'll either go for Canada, which is kind of unlikely, or more likely, we're just gonna end the let's play with, uh, well, currently we have 140 cities, well, point, uh, 14 cities, we're gonna get uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? We're gonna get 5 cities, actually 6, we're gonna get 200 points exactly, which is gonna be nice. They just turned, let's reload, and here we go, day 16. Largest army, 70% for Germany, 8% for them. Uh, we are 6%, Soviet Union is 7%. This should be easy. So let's, ju so let's just declare war now. And here we go. We're gonna bomb their uh, navy over here first. And, we're, and then we're gonna bomb Leningrad. With this I will just move over here and destroy everything they have in the city. I'm gonna bomb them with the artillery and just move into Leningrad with the ground units. Well... The ground units, the other units that aren't artillery. So there we go. With this, I'm just gonna go over here. Just gonna start with that little thing. And with this, I'm gonna go here and to Archangel. With this, move into here and over to here. And with this, just move over here too. This can go here and then here. This will capture Merman. And here we gonna push two normally. There we go. Should be an easy victory. And we just go according to the borders. And there we go. That's basically it. We are attacking and uh, yeah. We're already bombing Leningrad and all of that stuff. Seems like this is gonna be a pretty easy win. I think so, as you can see, we're uh, 
already destroying them. They have nine ships here, actually. That's definitely gonna hurt. But they're gonna be able to take Murmansk and all of this, no problem. At least I think so. We're just gonna continue pushing and we're gonna be able to win easily, I believe. Let's take this plane down. Let's just uh, make sure there are no Soviet planes in the sky. There we go. And that's it. These units are gonna be used a little later. But we're gonna be able to easily, easily take the USSR out, as you can see. Anyway, nothing else new in the world, really, British Egypt doing quite well. And yeah, that's uh, basically, Mexico is pushing back the United States, actually, which is rather interesting. Alright, though, uh, I think I'm gonna end the video already. So, thank you guys for watching the video, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, you can go ahead and click the like button. You can also subscribe if you like my channel and all of that stuff. So, thank you guys for watching the video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye!